Now we're going to be looking at changing the value of the mean and standard deviation. So we're going to examine the difference when we change the value of um, the scores. So we can examine the difference of the mean as well as the standard deviation. Okay, so watch very carefully because in this section we're going to look at some questions that are very likely to be coming out in your exam. Okay, so it's a very popular question. So let's have a look at question 9. So I've got the scores of 1 to 7. And I'm going to start by finding the mean. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that with our calculator. So let's first find the mean. Let's put in all the scores, shift, mode, scroll down, number 3 stat, frequency on, mode, number 2 stat, number 1 for VAR, and let's put in all the scores. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and finally 7 equal. And we don't have to fix the frequency because the frequency is all 1. It's only 1 of each score. So we press AC, shift 1, number 4 VAR, and then number 2 for mean equals. So this mean is simply 4. And we get 4. Okay, so this mean is 4. And you can actually find this by adding it up and dividing them by the number of scores. But I just showed you again with how to use the calculator. Now in part B, we're going to find the standard deviation. Okay, so again, let's go to our calculator and go ahead and find that one. To find the standard deviation, don't worry about putting the scores back in. Simply go to shift 1, 4 for VAR, and number 3 for the standard deviation. Equals and 2 is your standard deviation, which is 2. Okay, so the standard deviation is 2, as you saw, using the calculator. So now, now you should be very getting used to how to do that on your own. So that was the standard deviation. Now, I'm going to add each score by 5. Each score was added by 5. So each of these scores, if you add them by 5, these are the scores that you're going to get. Okay, so see how I added everything up by 5? So now, let's find the new mean. Okay, so again, let's go to our calculator. So we go to our calculator and do the same thing. Shift mode, scroll down, 3, frequency on, mode, number 2 stat, number 1, and then we're back to the screen. So let's put in the different scores now. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and finally 12 equal and we don't have to change the frequency so you press AC go to shift 1 4 and then number 2 for the mean and equal so 9 is your mean and the new mean is 9 as we just calculated but see what I'm doing the new mean is 9 which is 5 plus our old mean okay so 4 plus 5 becomes 9 so see what I did? If you add 5 to the old mean, you get the exact same mean that we just calculated with our calculator. So have a look guys, you must know how this, hap this is happening. See how the scores are added up by 5? Because every single score is added up by the same value, the mean also moves by that value. Okay? So, there's no, so the change of the mean is going up because the level of the scores have also gone up. Okay, so if every single score has added up by the same value, that also, happen, that also happens with the mean as well. Okay, so you should remember that um, specific property. Okay, so that was the new mean, so you should know that you don't have to actually use the calculator now. Now, we're going to find the new standard deviation. Okay, so it's a little bit different to the mean, so have a look. We're going to start by using our calculator. Now to find the standard deviation, we've put in all the scores, so shift 1, number 4, and number 3 is the standard deviation, equal, and standard deviation is 2, and you get 2. So see how the standard deviation is left unchanged? So you found that we did the same thing using the calculator and we used these scores, not these scores, but we got the same standard deviation. And why do you think the reason for that is? Why do you think the standard deviation is left unchanged? This is because 
the sc all the scores are added up by the same value, so the spread is unchanged. Okay, so see how the score is, the difference between each score is 1, and here still the difference between each score is 1. So the spread is exactly the same, only the difference is the value of the scores. Okay, so make sure you understand the difference between the two concepts, okay, because it's very, very crucial. So that was that one, but this time what I'm going to say is that each score was times by 5. Okay, so this time I'm going to multiply each of those scores by 5. Okay, whereas previously I added by 5. So let's see what the difference is. So go ahead and multiply everything by 5. You should get these scores. Okay, so see how I multiplied everything by 5 and got these values? So now with those values, I'm going to start by finding the new mean. Okay, so again, let's go to our calculator. So let's start by putting in the scores. Shift mode, scroll down, 3, frequency iron, mode, number 2, number 1 VAR. And let's put in all the different scores, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and finally 35. And again, we don't have to worry about the frequency. So press AC, shift 1, number 4 for VAR, and number 2 for the mean, and equal. So the mean is 20 this time. And I've got 20 as we just calculated. But see how the new mean is 5 times the old mean. Okay, this is our original mean, but when I multiply all the scores by 5, the mean is also multiplied by 5. So it's a similar concept to when we added by 5. When all the scores are multiplied by 5, because every single score is multiplied by the same value, the mean also rises by that value. Okay, Because all the scores are becoming going up. See if I multiply, all the scores go up, right? So that's why the mean also goes up in value. Okay, So the level goes up. So that's how the new mean happens. It's a quite similar concept to when we added it. Okay, so it rises out by the same amount. Now we're going to go on to finding the standard deviation, the new standard deviation after multiplying all the scores by 5. So again, let's go to our calculator. Now for standard deviation, simply shift 1, number 4, and number 3 for the standard deviation. Press equal. So the standard deviation is 10, and we get 10. But have a look at this time, the standard deviation changes. We actually multiply the old original standard deviation by 5 to get 10. Okay, so we found 10 by using the calculator, but I've examined that if I multiply this one by 5, I get 10. And why do you think the reason for that is? You make sure you understand the idea and concept of standard deviation. The standard deviation gives us the idea of the spread and how spread out the scores are. But see how previously with this one and this one, the difference between each score is just one. Okay, so the standard deviation is not changed. But see how this time, because I'm multiplying every score by five, the difference becomes much more wider. So five and ten, the difference becomes uh, multiplied by five times as previously. So see how the difference is getting much more bigger than the previous times? That's why the spread definitely must also increase by that amount. So we simply multiply the standard deviation by 5 as well. Okay? And that's it. So have a look. So this kind of question is going to be repeatedly um, coming out in school exams because it's a very unique question and it tells you, it gives you an idea of the concept of um, standard deviation as well as the mean. Okay, so make sure you understand this very carefully and I'll just give you a quick summary of what we just examined because that will give you a um, quick hit head start before you get into your exam and you're going to be better than the others. So let's get started uh, with a summary. So our original mean is this one and our original standard deviation is that symbol there. But let's say the um, data was added by some value, some value n. Let's say it was added by some value n. Now the new value of the standard deviation in the mean, well the mean, remember how we added by that value that we added? 
So if I mod add, sorry, if I add the value of the data by n, then the new mean would also increase by that value of n. Now remember that happens only when all the scores are added by that value of n. Now what about the standard deviation? Well we found that the standard deviation was left unchanged. It was exactly the same, wasn't it? So the standard deviation is left as it is. Okay, so that's when we add some value n to all the data. Now what, what happens if we multiply the data by n? What do you think? You, we've done these questions when it was multiplied by 5, but when it's multiplied by any value n, remember how the mean was also multiplied by that value of n? So the new mean would be times n. Okay, what about the standard deviation? This time the standard deviation changed, it was actually multiplied by that value. So if I multiply by n, the standard deviation would also multiply by n. Okay, so that's the difference when we add and when we multiply. Make sure you have this in your head very, very thoroughly. Okay, so once you've got this, your exam question will probably be pretty easy.